Hey everybody, you've made it to the Jed Said Therapy channel where a little awareness goes a long way. My name is Jed Thorpe, licensed therapist. If you've ever wondered why you are the way you are, attachment-wise, in your relationships as an adult, stick around. We're going to talk about that and where it came from. I think you're going to dig this. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Before we continue, push the subscribe button and the follow button, the share button, the like button, the notification bell if you want to be notified every time a Jed Said Therapy video comes online. And there's a lot of them that come online. So now, without further ado, let's get into this whole attachment theory and the four different attachment styles that we find ourselves in, you know, as adults. We were developing or being programmed on how we attach from the get-go, really. So in this theory, there's four different styles of attachment. The first one is being securely attached. The second one is called anxious preoccupied attachment. The third one is avoidant and the fourth one is disorganized. So there are the four different ways that we connect or attach in our relationships. Let's let's start with number one, what we're all trying to get to if we're not already there called secure attachment. Per the theory, this was developed way back in the day when we were growing up, little babies, little bambinos, and all of our needs were met with consistency. You know, if we were crying, we were picked up. If we were hungry, we were fed. If we were um, needing someone near, we were near, you know, like parent caregiver stuff. We were there. It was all done to the point where they were programmed that they didn't need to worry about that, that they were okay. They're going to be taken care of. They were programmed or developed into being secure in their relationships with that caregiver. And the yeah, and here they are in adulthood and now they're still secure. And they don't need a person to be a certain way to be okay. They're not needy, they're not clingy. They're secure in themselves and thus they're secure in their relationships. That's a good relationship attachment style right there. The second one anxious or preoccupied attachment developed all the way back in the day. We're babies and our needs aren't consistently met. We get a little anxious, we're hungry, and sometimes it doesn't come like we, we're not fed or we're lonely and we're left alone or we're crying and we're not soothed, you know, that kind of thing. By the way, a little side note, the whole like just forcing your kid to cry until they just cry it out and go to bed. Ooh, job security for me. That's just programming the kid to have anxious attachment in their future relationships. And speaking of future relationships, what do they look like? I'm insecure. I need you to be a certain way in order for me to be okay. I need to know where you're at. I get jealous, you know, all sorts of uh, clinginess. Yeah, I'm not secure. I actually have learned that I'm not okay. I need you. I'm never sure when you're going to be there. So I'm very anxious as to my relationships in adulthood. I'm, I'm worried. You know what I mean? I'm not secure. That's anxious attachment. And it's what I see most coming through here. The third one, the third one is avoidant attachment. This is like pretty self-explanatory. Happens way back in early programming years where if we do have an uncomfortable or negative feeling or emotion, it's not addressed. Sometimes caregivers just don't know how to address that. So they just push it away. Hey, you're sad now? Uh, stop crying. I'll give you something to cry about. You know, stuff like that. To the point where in adulthood, they don't want it around. You know, they don't want it. I, if I have to tell you I love you, I might once or twice in my lifetime, but I'm just not into this whole um, vulnerable emotional thing because when I did try to connect emotionally, it was met with rejection. So I learned or was programmed that I don't do that. 
now. <laughs> it's not a conscious behavior, by the way. It's just how they've learned to dance in relationships. <laughs> so that's the third one, avoidant attachment. The fourth one called disorganized attachment, that happens when early on relationships were formed in trauma. Like it's physical aggression. It's, it's kind of all these put together. You, you're not always there. There's inconsistent caregiving. Um, there's lack of emotional acceptance, that kind of thing. And there's some physical abuse going on, typically. In adulthood, these programmed babies and turned into relationships and married and everything else, they find people who they are comfortable with, which are abusive people. It, this is a wild one. It's the most difficult one to work through because think of it, if you were taught that the more someone hurts you, the more they care, right? That's a, isn't that wild? That's totally a thing. Um, I yelled at that person and when they got really upset and yelled back, I realized, oh yeah, they love me. That's love, right? That was <laughs> learned. This is anger attachment, disorganized attachment. Yeah. I'm smiling right now, but this is actually like a pretty sad situation. And me smiling in the psychological definition is called reaction formation. Just a fun side note there. Good information. Where do you fit in with this? Does this sound like anybody you know? If it does, yeah, write about it. I love hearing about the comments. I'll comment back, all that good stuff. And until next time, awareness up. Thank you.